gonna be great. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. My name is Miss Heather. I am the Early Literacy Programming Specialist here at the Enoch Pratt Free Library. Today we have a super fun and special show for you. It is with our friend at Danny uh, Joe's Treehouse. But before we get started on that, I wanted to let you know about all the great stuff that we have going on at the Enoch Pratt Free Library. Have you signed up for Read to Reef yet? Well, you still have the rest of March to do so. Um, you can get five free tickets to the aquarium just by, or four free tickets to the aquarium just by reading five books about the ocean. This is for our kids who are fifth grade and younger. And um, all you have to do is read the books, um, have a library card, you go into the library to register, and then you'll have until June to go to the aquarium. How cool is that? Um, so today with our friend at Danny Joe's Treehouse, we are going to help chickens fly. Oh my goodness. I hope you have your thinking caps on and are ready for this adventure. So, um, if you want to learn more about Danny Joe's Treehouse, you can go to dannydoestreehouse.com. He has, um, a bunch of great seasons and past episodes on there. Um, and he's also going to be visiting our Canton branch on March 28th and then um, multiple branches as in the upcoming months. So you can come see him in person. And without further ado, I am going to turn it over to Jan Danny Joe. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day. Nature is calling you. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's so nice to see you. My name's Danny Joe, this is my treehouse and all are welcome here. I'm so glad to see you. You know, there are some screens where you just watch and listen. Mm -hmm. And then there are other screens where you can see each other. Yeah, interactive screens. This is an interactive screen. So if you have some thoughts and ideas and feelings, you can write them out, have your grown-ups write them out and we'll see them in the messages and we can, we can talk to each other sort of. Is that cool? Is that neat? So at Danny Joe's treehouse, we play and we use our imaginations. And every day, every day when I come into the treehouse, I check out what's in the old high bucket. My, my high bucket is kind of like my mailbox. So let's see what's in the high bucket. The shutter's here. Hi. It's, oh, okay. If you like surprises, go like this. And if you don't like surprises, go like this. You get to choose because you are the boss of you. Ready? Here it is. One, two, three. It's a little bluebird. Hi, little bluebird. Yeah, this little bluebird's name is Tweet. Yeah, Tweet is one of the many puppets at Angel's Treehouse. I'm up in the treehouse and down below there's a playground and there's lots of cool puppets that might, might combine a little bit and visit. Yeah, but this, this evening we're going to talk all about flying. I've always wanted to fly in the sky. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great to fly in the sky like a bird? Yeah, let's pretend. Let's pretend that we can fly in the sky. So get out your, get out your wings. Go ahead. Oh, I see you doing it. Good job. Very nice. You're, oh, you're a happy bird. Great. And we're going to sing a song together. And when I sing, oodle la di -ah -di you then you repeat back to me, oodle la di -ah -di you when you're out in nature, you can hear birds doing that sometimes. They'll talk to each other. They'll go, and another bird will go, talk back and forth. That's what we'll do in the song. Ready? 
Good morning, little bird. How are you today? Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you stretching your neck and opening up your eyes. Your grown ups feeding you yummy worms and flies. Blah, blah, blah. Oodle yaddy you. Your turn. Oodle yaddy yaddy Birds of a feather. Practice makes better. And I'm so proud of you. Good morning, little bird. How are you today? Here's another little bird. Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you standing up tall and opening up your wings. Your grown ups feeling so proud. They began to sing. So, kids and grown ups sing. Ooh, la di ya di you. Your turn. Ooh, la di ya di a. Birds of a feather, practice makes better, and I'm so proud of you. One day you'll be flying, pretend you're flying way behind the sky, and your grown ups will be smiling, singing, ooh la, ooh la, yay, yay. <laughs> oh, there they go. They flew off into the sky. Wouldn't it be cool if human beings could fly in the sky? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, well, I've got, I've got some friends that have been thinking a lot about that at Danny Joe's Treehouse. If you haven't seen it yet, later you can go to dannyjoestreehouse.com and you'll see a video. And in the very first video, we, had, we visited my friend Allie and Oops. Yeah, Allie is a cave person from a long time ago, and Oops is his pet chicken. And Allie really wants his pet chicken to fly in the sky, but guess what? Chickens can't fly in the sky. They can't, they're, they're, they're birds and they have feathers, but they can't, a chicken can't fly in the sky. It's just not, it's just not how it works with chickens. But Allie is an inventor and he wants to make his chicken fly in the sky. So he's been trying to figure out how to do it and he couldn't figure it out. So I asked for help from kids and guess what happened? Guess what? Kids sent me all of these great ideas, all of these drawings. And if you get some drawings after we hang out today, I hope you'll send me your pictures too. You can send them to me through dannyjoestreehouse.com. So I'm gonna turn on my KidBot 5000. That's my robot. Beep, 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 zebra, zebra, zebra. Yeah, it's a screen, just a screen. I like my screen, I like my screen, but it's just a thing. It's a tool that I sometimes use to share my thoughts and ideas and feelings with you. Yeah, just like this screen that we're watching this on right now at your house. Yeah, but screens are just things. People are more important than things. You are more important than a screen. You've got important thoughts and ideas and feelings. Let's look at some of the thoughts and ideas and feelings that my friends sent me. Are you ready, Kidbot? Okay, let's see here. So this is my friend, Aubrey. And I said, hey kids, how, how could we make a chicken fly in the sky? So Aubrey made this design. I'm, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. Now look, the first thing that she drew way up high, see that blue thing up here? is an airplane. You could just buy an airplane ticket. That works. Yeah. And then she also made these big old wings. Stay safe out of your brother. Thank you, man. Is that cool? Is that neat? And then on the other, here we go. Now this one's from Jeremy. Check that out. Jeremy's idea was to give the chicken a rocket pack. Can you imagine a chicken with a rocket pack? Chicken would be like, it's kind of cool. Now look at this idea. I thought this was a good one. This is from Briella, this chicken has a trampoline, a little trampoline. Do you have a trampoline in your backyard? I don't, but imagine a trampoline and the chicken goes boing, boing, boing. And she even drew the boingy mark, see? There's lots of different ideas. There's more than one way to solve a problem. Practice makes better. This kid thought we could use flower power to make the chicken fly in the sky. You know how seeds from flowers float in the sky? Well, Trinity was watching nature and she saw the flowers floating around, the seeds from the flowers. And she thought, well, maybe if we put the seeds on the chicken, the chicken would float and fly. Sound a good idea? Don't know until you try it. This, one, <laughs> this one's from Kennedy. Kennedy made a, a chicken balloon machine. I've seen balloons float up in the sky before. Isn't that good? See all the details? I really took the time. Do you like to draw? 
Here's another one. Here's a, a chicken rocket. I want to go in that rocket. Is, is this giving you good ideas? It's from my friend Devin. And then, and then, and then a classroom, a kindergarten classroom here in Baltimore, they went around their classroom and they found a bunch of toys and they put the toys together and they made their own invention. They found a stuffed um, chicken puppet, see? And they put it in a little basket and then they got that stick and they found a red coily stretchy thing. And they wrote to me and they said what they did was they, they stretched the basket like a slingshot. And when they let go, the chicken pew, shot across the room. Isn't that a good invention? What do you think, Kidbot? Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, so if you have some ideas, send those to me because I'd really like to see them. Sorry, my tin can phone is ringing. Sometimes I use my smartphone, but at the treehouse, I've had tin can phones. So let's see, let's see who's on the old tin can phone. Danny Joe's Treehouse, this is Danny Joe and my friends at the uh, Enoch Crowd Free Library speaking. How may we help you? I have excellent phone manners. Oh, hey, hey, Allie. Yeah, it's, it's Allie and Oops. They're downstairs. Yeah, well, the kids are here and they sent in some of their drawings. You wanna see them? Yeah, yeah. Do you mind if Allie the caveman and Oops the chicken comes up and visits with you? Is that okay? Okay, great, great. Yeah, they say it's okay. It's kind of crowded up here. So I'm gonna go down and make space for you and the chicken to come up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna hang up the phone. And they're on their way. Just one second, okay? Hey guys, come on up. Oh, hey, hey, oh, thanks so much, Jay. I'm so excited to see what the pillow's made. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh boy, I'm glad to see you. Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, I'm so excited. I heard you made these inventions. Yeah, they made some inventions because we want to make my friend. Oops, the chicken fly in the sky. I don't know about that. I don't want to fly in the No, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about that. You're going to fly in the sky. It's going to be great. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. No, no, no. You don't need to be nervous. Look, it's easy. All you got to do is you, you flap your wingies, see, and I'll throw you up and you'll fly in the sky. Uh, I don't know about that. No, no, it'll be fine. Okay, let's practice. Let's just try throwing them up. We don't know what's going to happen. We got to find out, right? Yeah, flap your wings. See how the kid's doing it? Yeah, yeah, just flap your wings. Okay, one, count with me. We'll count to three and we'll toss the chicken. It'll be fine. Ready? One, two, three. Oops. Oops. Are you okay? I don't feel so good. I got to fall down. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's make an invention. Let's make an invention to help my buddy Oops fly in the sky, okay? We'll do it together through the screen. Well, that is a pretty good idea. Yeah, my buddy Danny Joe told me that, uh, that you had a chicken slingshot. A chicken slingshot? But chicken slingshot? Yeah, it'll be great. I don't know you got. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You're a brave chicken. Yeah, I'm pretty brave. I just, oh yeah. You got a good personality. Well, thank you very much. You're handsome. Well, hey, I'm a very handsome chicken. Feeling pretty good about yourself. Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a big red invisible stretchy rubber band. And I'm going to throw it to you through the screen. Tweedly do, tweedly do. And you catch it on your end and you pull it tight and you tie it to something like a chair or something. Okay. So I'm going to throw it to you. I don't know. You got it. No, it'll be fine. Okay, ready? One, two, three, catch it. Zoo! Got it. Go. Stretch it. Okay, stretch it out and I'll tie it to your chair there. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna take the other end. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it over to that other kid. Catch it, kid. Zoo! Get it. Don't let go. Don't let go. It's stretchy. Tie it to something. There you go. Okay, yeah. You can tie it to your pet dog at home or whatever. There you go. Good. Okay, now we're gonna put the chicken in the basket. Bye, oh boy. And we're gonna stretch them back three times. And we're gonna shoot them way up high in the sky. Oh boy, I'm real nervous. Will you go with me? You want me to go with you? Yeah, you go with me. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get in the basket through here. Ready? So let's stretch it back and we'll fly up in the sky. Ready? Three. One, two, clap your wings. Oh boy. Three. Woo! Whoa! Look at him go. Oh my gosh, he's going up. Watch out for the airplane. No, they're okay. They landed on top of the airplane. Bye. That was amazing. That worked. I can't believe that worked. That's amazing. 
My tin can phone's ringing again. Hello, this is Danny Joe from Danny Joe's Treehouse with my friends from you know Crap Free Library. How may we help you? What? It's Captain Lunar Landis of the International Space Alliance, Time Space Alliance. Yeah. What? His spaceship is stuck in outer space and he needs our help. Are you serious? He needs super smart kids who are good at making inventions and flying. Are you good at making inventions and flying? Yes, they are. They've confirmed they are. Okay. He's going to, yeah, send it down. Okay. We'll look for it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He's going to send me a special message, a distress signal just for you. Okay. So oh, here it is. It's on the computer here. Beep, 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 beep. Oh boy. I wonder what it's going to be. I'm super excited. Okay. Turn it up here. Oh my goodness. This is Captain Landis. I hope you will receive this urgent message that I send. My name is Captain Landis, and here's my robot friend. Traveling through space on technology and science, the Intergalactic Time Space Alliance. We're being pulled up, course, and I think we both agree it's a giant black hole in the center of the galaxy. I hope you counteract it, but we're running out of power. It's pulling us in, and it gets stronger by the hour. My spaceship runs off steam. My spaceship runs off steam. We need more steam to get back up on the path. Okay. Steam stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It's important to the trip. This is the fuel that powers my spaceship. We can't go around it. We must go through it. This is the fuel, and you can help me do it. I am Captain Landis, and here's my robot friend. I hope you get this message, and until we meet again. My spaceship runs on steam. My spaceship runs on steam. Captain Landis, is it, he's in a spaceship. His spaceship runs on steam, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And he's out of fuel. He doesn't have any of that stuff. He needs our help to make his ship fly in the sky. Oh, that must be Captain Landis now. Okay. Hello, Dangerous Treehouse. This is Dangerous speaking. And Enoch Pratt, uh, library, how may we help you? It is, it is. It's Captain Landis. Again. Hey, Captain Landis, are you okay? He's, so he's stuck right outside the Milky Way and there's this big black hole and it's pulling him in and, and, and he needs our help. Okay, so what do we do? He says, he says, listen very carefully. Okay. He says, write this down if you got something to write it down or just remember it real well. Okay, we're ready. He says, every action has an equal or opposite reaction. What does that mean? He says, we'll find out. He's going to send us something through my 3D printer on my, on my tin can phone. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll help. And what's that? What's what? When he says he's, he's, his spaceship's going to fly around the sky or around, around the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Milky Way. It's going to take about two weeks and you're supposed to send your inventions to him through dannyjoestreehouse.com. Okay. okay, okay, we got it. Okay, okay. He says, he says he'll see you in the future. Okay, so let me turn on the 3D printer here. That's the sound of the 3D printer printing. It's ready. Let's see what he sent us. Hmm. What is this thing? It's kind of weird. Seen one of these things before? What is that? Kiss your brain. It's a balloon. That's right. You know what it is. He says we're supposed to use this to create a booster. Yeah, to, to boost his ship out of the black hole. How are we gonna use this to, hmm. what do you say? He said, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So I guess one action would be me blowing air into this balloon. Let's blow air into the balloon. Okay, there's one action. I blew air into the balloon, that's one action. And now, 
And that was the equal and opposite reaction. The air blew out of the balloon and flew that way. So I guess what you need to do is find a balloon and then maybe you could build some sort of a rocket out of, I don't know, paper tubes or, or construction paper or something and stick it on the outside. And then you take a picture of it and then you send it to me at dangerousttreehouse.com. I'll send it to him in the spaceship. He'll 3D print it. He'll stick it on the outside of a spaceship and we can save the day. Will you help to do that? Will you use your, your brilliant minds to make something tonight before you go to sleep? You can draw a picture of it. If you have a balloon laying around the house, you could do that, or you can do it later in the day, tomorrow, or, or over the weekend, then just send it to me. Just use your good old brain, your noodle. Kiss your brain, your noodle kadoodle. Doodle, 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 doodle. Somebody else is coming. Somebody else is downstairs. One second. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Do you know who that is? Have you ever seen Dave Joe's Treehouse before? Well, downstairs, there's this castle. And in the castle, there's this very, very bossy little prince who thinks he's going to be a king one day. Yeah, he's very, very bossy. He's, he's learning how to be a better king, though. I think we can help him. Well, I don't need your help. I don't need anybody's help. Yay, me. Hello, everyone. You may bow to your king. Oh, hi, Kingsley. How do you do? Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. I have a royal proclamation. <laughs> and I like to sing all of my royal proclamations, as you know. He does like to sing. Yes, I do. Me, 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 me. Everyone look at me. I'm the boss of you, and I'm the boss of you. I tell you what to do, because I'm the boss of you. Yay! No, yeah, you're not the boss of me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I'm the boss of them, too. No, you're not, Kingsley. That's not what it means to be a king. Uh-huh, my mommy said so. You know, I'll sing it louder. I'm the boss of you. I'm the boss of you. I tell you what to do, because I'm the boss of you. Kingsley. Being loud doesn't make you right, doesn't? No, it just makes you really loud. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, we, I've got a version of that song too. Oh, but I don't like your version. Well, it's my turn. Yeah, it's I'm the boss of me. I'm the boss of me. I take care of my mind and body because I'm the boss of me and you're the boss of you too. You sing it with me. I'm the boss of me. I'm the boss of me. I take care of my mind and body because I'm the boss of me. Well, I disagree. No, I want to be the boss. I want to be the boss. I'll sing it even louder. I'm the boss of you. I'm the boss of you. I tell you what to do because I'm the boss of you. Ow! Kingsley, take a breath. <laughs> Hmm, I don't want to take a bet. I want to be the boss. Well, you know, being the boss doesn't mean bossing people around. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All kinds of people are bossy. Um, mommies and daddies and, and babysitters and aunts and uncles and grandparents and teachers and babysitters and librarians and government, mission, government officials. And all kinds of people are always bossing us around telling us what to do. Well, Kingsley, oh my goodness. Sort of. Okay, yes, there are grownups that love you very much. And, and sometimes grownups will help you to take care of your mind and your body. But if you ever don't like something, you could say, I don't, I don't like that. I, does, I don't like the way that's making me feel or that hurts my body. You, you are the boss of you. You can say how you feel. Grownups that love you so much want you to say how, how you feel. You are the boss of you. Well, what am I the boss of? <laughs> you're, you're the boss of you, Kingsley. I don't wanna be the boss of everybody. I wanna be the boss of the land and the sky and the oceans. And only, I have another proclamation. Only the, the bluebirds, yes, blue is my favorite color. Only the bluebirds shall fly in my blue sky and all the other birds have to stay on the ground. There, I said it. Kingsley, that's, that's silly. There's room in the sky for all of the birds. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Only what I say, me, 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 me. And I'm not listening to you. La, 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 la. Ugh, that guy stresses me out. He's showing, I feel overwhelmed. Do you know that word? Do you know the word overwhelmed? It's when so many different things are happening at the same time. I see some grownups are going, mm -hmm, I know what overwhelmed is. Yeah, kids know what overwhelmed is too. It's, you can be overwhelmed with busy stuff. You can be overwhelmed with scary stuff or sad stuff. You can be overwhelmed with really happy things too. Like when you're at a birthday party and you're surprised, you're, oh, oh I'm so overwhelmed. You can be overwhelmed with just a lot of stuff. And what I like to do when I feel overwhelmed, especially before it's bedtime, is I like to pretend that I'm taking out a balloon. We had a real balloon a minute ago, but use your imagination. Yeah, like, like take out your imagination hat and put that on. Good. Screw it on real tight. Catch it. 
and tie it in a bow. Mm-hmm. Put on your goggles. Very good. So you can see what's not really there. Use your imagination. Very good. Kiss your brain. Yeah, I want you to use your imagination. I want you to reach into your pocket. And if you don't have pockets, it doesn't matter. You can use an imaginary pocket. And pull out a balloon. And stretch out your balloon. This is what I do when I'm overwhelmed. It can be any color you want. It's your balloon. It could be pink. It could be blue. It could be purple. It could be polka dots. It could be rainbow swirlies. Whatever you want. It's your balloon. You get to choose. You're the boss. And then you're going to blow it up three times when you feel overwhelmed. Ready? Three times. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Good. Now get the end of it. Don't tie it in a knot. Not yet. Just twist it up. I want you to give that balloon a big hug. It's kind of like you're hugging yourself too. It's a good thing to do when you feel overwhelmed. And I want you to imagine the warmth of your body is warming up the balloon, the air inside. And the balloon is going to start to rise up. You're going to float up high, way up above. You're going to rise above. Mm -hmm. You're going to get some perspective. That's what grownups call it. When, when you're down low, where everything's busy and happening, it's, it's too much. It's too much. But if you can back away from it a little bit, yeah, it'd take a little bit of a time in. Not a time out. I don't like timeouts. I don't think they work very well. But a time in, just change one word, say time in. It's just taking some time inside your brain just to relax. Pretend you're floating away up high. You can look down, see what's going on. See what's making you feel overwhelmed. Think about it. Look at it. You can even pretend you can see yourself and how you're feeling and what's going on with you and your friends and family. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to fix anything. You're just thinking about it. And breathing. Yeah, it's nice to take a time in. Then when you're ready, you can unroll the balloon and you can let the air out three times. Ready? So let's come back down to earth. Then you can make it do that raspberry sound at the end. Ah, I feel so much better. Now hang on to that. That's your that's my present to you this evening. That little balloon for when you feel overwhelmed. Blow it up, take a time in whenever you want. So fold it up, put it in your pocket. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what I see? I see something, I spy something. I spy with my little eye, two eyes and a nose. And I spy with my little eye, your fingers and your toes. And there's something else that's deep inside that I can't quite yet see. But I'll try, and you'll try, together, you and me. It takes some time to discover all the gifts you have inside. It takes some time to realize you've got nothing to hide. I spy with my little eye your hair and your clothes. And I spy with my little eye the freckles on your nose. And there's something else that's deep inside that I can't quite yet see. But I'll try and you try together, you and me. It takes some time to discover all the gifts we have inside. It takes some time to realize you've got nothing to hide. I spy with my little eye. Be proud of who you are and be who you're meant to be. And you already are who you are right now. You are. You're great. I like you. You're doing great. I think a lot of people have been overwhelmed thinking about what happened before and what's going to happen next. And we, we, we don't know. We, we can't go back in time. We can learn from what happened before and we can imagine what's going to happen next, but we can't go in those directions. We can, we can be here though. We can be together right now. Yeah. And I like being here together. I like spending this time with you. I do. It's great. It's great being in this moment. And I'm really excited about the future. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about you making some drawings and sending them to me at dannyjoestreehouse.com. I'm excited about you visiting the library and reading books. I'm excited about um, maybe seeing you at the library sometime for one of our shows and maybe checking out some of our shows at, at Danny Joe's Treehouse. And the thing that I'm most excited about for the future, you know, what I'm most excited about for the future. I'm excited for the future because I know that you're going to be there. The future is going to be great because you're going to be there. Yeah. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator, after a while, 
crocodile. It's not the end, my dear friend. I'm glad we got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while, after a while, after a while. Now make a big crocodile like this. Crocodile, chomp. I'll see you next time at Ajo's Treehouse. Sleep tight. Good night. I think I'm going to fly out of my treehouse. I'm going to put on my jetpack. Okay, ready? Beep, boop, boop, boop. Yeah.